Hey guys, this is Mario from shockingfit.com and in this video you're gonna see me perform uh, some upper body uh, bodybuilding work which is something I've uh, been uh, asked a lot recently when I uploaded a bunch of that powerlifting, lower rep stuff and some of the pause stuff and all the different things that work for my strength. So I wanted to put out some upper body bodybuilding type of work and you'll see me here uh, do a uh, lot pull downs uh, with a the grip and this is after uh, pause bench pressing it's a video that I uploaded before this I'm gonna leave that video in the description below so that was the first exercise of this day so that pause bench pressing took about like 20 minutes or something to complete so now I'm going into a bodybuilding routine just to add some extra volume for my upper body and I'm starting off with the V grip lat pull down I really love these uh, one issue in this uh, gym particularly is that the cable is uh, too long so you see me that I can't really get that stretch on top because the weight uh, goes back and then I lose attention it's, it's a loss of tension here right so you'll see how I overcome that in the third set I'm gonna actually modify this exercise to become the V grip incline bench lat pull down which is gonna allow me to get that stretch uh, on my upper portion of the movement and this is an idea that I got from a guy uh, named Goku Flex he has a big YouTube channel he's an amazing guy he posts a lot of uh, footage of his workouts as well so definitely check out his channel and I got this idea from him actually to use the incline bench uh, to add some extra range of motion and this one really hits hard I mean you can see that I lowered the weight I'm working on feeling the muscle I even used too much weight here I mean 60 kilos for this exercise it's quite a bit of a challenge and I've uh, kind of uh, still learning the movement itself so I didn't know what weight to use and now I've toned it back to 50 and I can really feel it at 50 kg and this exercise generates a ton of soreness if you're never used to it so definitely take it easy it's an amazing movement I think this is gonna become one of my most favorite movements to build a nice thick uh, back and it works really well and range of motion is something I enjoy with this one especially in this gym uh, as I said the cable is a little bit too long so I can't really return the weight back and if that's not an issue for you you can probably skip this exercise but I would still suggest give this a try see how it feels I mean for me uh, it's kind of a new discovery you know it's like uh, a kid that walks into a candy store and there's like a new type of candy there uh, which you can check out so here's some um, incline uh, dumbbell bench pressing so when it comes to the chest you technically have two portions right you have the upper and the lower chest and the lower chest gets a lot of stimulation just through standard bench pressing and bench pressing works the entire chest but you do want to add some incline work to your program so some form of incline work to really work that clavicular head or the pectoralis so you really want to get that um, in there and some incline bench pressing in that repetition range of 8 to 12 will uh, do the trick so you don't really go you don't need to go too heavy on these I mean definitely go and have at least one or two uh, reps left in the reserve you see here I'm stopping and I mean, probably could have went for one or two more reps but that would be muscle failure so I don't want to train to muscle failure this is simply me doing some volume to get some of growth for that uh, upper portion of the chest my bench press is still the primary movement that I want to progress and I am progressing here as well definitely adding some uh, reps you can see even here in the second set I'm adding some reps to it but in general this is uh, like very low priority in terms of progress. I mean, I will progress naturally as I add more weight to my bench press. I will improve this as well, but I'm not gonna sacrifice my main movement uh, to progress in this one. This means that I will still uh, use the main progression schemes and all that uh, kind of uh, PR measurement if I'm moving forward for the main one instead of this. So you'll see me here, I'm gonna push a little bit harder because this is gonna be the final chest exercise for the day. So I'm gonna push a little bit harder. That felt uh, good to push a little closer to the limit. So I added one more movement for the back here because I felt the back um, needed a little bit extra volume uh, for this week. So I added uh, two sets of some underhand cable rowing. So you do wanna include in your programs, uh, however you're doing your workout, if you haven't downloaded my Lean and Strong workout plan, which you can find in the description below, you'll see that I always include some form of a vertical 
a work for the back and then some horizontal work. So horizontal pulling and vertical pulling. So you want to include both of these variations because they work different angles and they force your back to really uh, grow uh, proportionally and become overall uh, well developed, right? And I see a lot of programs, they put too much emphasis on one uh, type of movement and not on the other one. So definitely include some form of uh, rowing in your programs. I mean, if I wasn't doing this, I would probably be doing some uh, form of one dumbbell, uh, one arm dumbbell rows or things like that. I mean, T-bar rows. I mean, all of these movements are pretty good. Here in this exercise, you'll see that I actually uh, lowered the weight because I felt like I couldn't hit the volume with uh, that amount of weight that I planned in the beginning. So I reduced the weight and I did five extra reps. So this is one of those tools that you just have to get a feel for. It's like, hey, my form is breaking down and I don't want to sacrifice my form. Let me just reduce the weight. And difference in volume between 70 and 60 kilos is not a lot, but the difference is if you don't get that uh, form, if you don't get that technique. And here's me doing some uh, one arm cable uh, laterals. Uh, these, I mean, are a little bit weird as you can see on the pulley that the metal thing is actually hitting the bottom. So I'm kind of limited in the range of motion I can do in these. So I have to position my body in a little bit of a weird uh, way. So I feel like a lumberjack here. Uh, that's how it uh, looks to me. But these uh, work pretty well. I mean, if you just lean a little bit in, I'm doing this uh, to get some extra range of motion there. So if you lean in and if you just grab yourself and hold yourself there, I mean, they work amazingly well. I actually noticed at the end of this workout that the gym is about to close soon. So I was uh, a little bit uh, speed up uh, my reps. I didn't take much rest. And everything you see from now on, starting from one arm cable laterals, uh, will be super setted, uh, giant setted, uh, triple setted, like everything is just one big set. So minimal rest. So I'm going straight into cable hammer curls. I just took enough rest to kind of uh, find the, the extension to attach and that's it. So I'm straight going into 10 reps of uh, cable hammer curls, knock these out and I'm gonna be just taking enough rest to go grab a dumbbell and uh, as soon as I was like, oh shit, at time, yeah, you need to, need to hurry and then grab a dumbbell, go back and just go straight into some single arm dumbbell overhead, uh, tricep extensions, so knocking out these and you'll see here that uh, my first arm that I'm doing with can do less reps than the second arm, which is kind of funny and I'm not exactly sure why that is and I'm actually am starting with my stronger arm, which is the, the right hand. Uh, for, for all of these movements, but I think it has something to do with the exhaustion, simply the fact that I'm rushing the set a lot. And here, I mean, just straight back into it, you know, no rest. And this is one of those things where I will rather have no rest and get as much volume as I can than a miss a, an exercise, right? If I'm really pressed by time, and this is something I, I want you guys to implement as well, if you're pressed by time, if the gym is closing, if you're super busy and you just manage to get in there, uh, cut the rest period short, get the volume with less weights, do your reps and you will progress. And that's uh, kind of the mindset that I was doing in this exercise and kind of my mindset I, I do have to apply a lot. And the reason why you can do this, especially at the end of the workout is because these exercises uh, are the assistance movement. So it's okay if you don't do the maximum amount of weight. I could probably do double this weight if I was just doing that with a proper amount of rest, maybe in the middle of the workout, if I had some time, had some focus, but it doesn't really matter, right? I'm still going to get my growth, maybe not 100%, but the consistency will beat the perfection, right, over time. And I'm going straight into cable hammer curls here. Again, uh, same mindset, right? I don't really care that I missed, uh, that I did only eight reps instead of 10 in my first set. I'm still happy with this because I'm able to do another set. And I, it is a little bit difficult to do the low rest period. As you can see here, I'm, I need to catch my breath a little bit before I dive into the triceps exercise. And uh, I would really urge you to do this with proper form. So if you're cutting the rest short, make sure you use less weight if the form uh, starts to decline. So definitely take a look at that. Don't sacrifice your form. Uh, for anything, right? The form top comes first. So if you wanna see some priorities in your training program, priority number one, 
is the safety. Second priority is consistency. Third priority, then you can look at volume as a primary driver of uh, building muscle, building strength, and uh, getting just simply that mastery in, in terms of strength. That is gonna be the fact like volume, frequency, and intensity, but safety and consistency comes first. If that doesn't exist, I mean, you're not headed in the right direction. So here I'm doing some uh, lateral raises with a dumbbell to get some extra uh, work done on that um, medial portion of the deltoid. Uh, I like these um, when I bend over a little bit and I think I saw this on the Omar Isof um, channel. I think he had Alberto Nunez um, demonstrate one of these. He's a really cool natural bodybuilder. So he demonstrated that if you lean forward a little bit, you'll get that extra range of motion. You're gonna feel your um, delts a lot more and I noticed that. So here I decided to add some uh, bro curl work uh, in between just for one set. Uh, in between uh, to rest my medial delt a little bit, I added this. So it, it felt uh, good to get some of that biceps pump and you'll see you see here the arms are working pretty hard. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go straight after this, I'm gonna go back into the shoulder exercise and I would really urge you to try out this uh, uh, forward leaning uh, dumbbell ladder raise and it does make a difference. And don't go too heavy on these, it's not about the weight, it's really about feeling the medial delt work like feeling the shoulder doing the work instead of the trap. Because uh, a lot of guys, uh, they end up doing their uh, trapezius instead of their medial shoulder when this exercise because they're not careful. And uh, I will definitely uh, work on that con connection, like feeling that mind-muscle connection and really connecting with that uh, shoulder muscle here. And as I was saying, going back to volume, frequency, intensity, I mean, a lot of guys, hey, many, how many reps, how many sets, Look, if you're not doing proper form, if you're not safety, if you don't have the consistency, you don't have to worry about that too much. And here, I um, just wanna put a little bit of emphasis of what I'm doing. I'm doing some uh, ab work. I throw in, uh, every once in a while, I throw in some ab work. I don't do a lot of sets. I do multiple different exercises rather than multiple sets. Here, I'm gonna uh, rest a little bit, maybe do some uh, show off for, for the gym. Uh, pretty good, pretty happy with the shape right now. And I'm gonna go into some oblique work, uh, very similar to this, just um, to the side, so side knee raises, so I love these. And you'll see me do a very specific exercise in this um, end of this video. I'm gonna do some Russian twists uh, with that uh, barbell, but afterwards I'm gonna do some Cuban rotations, and these are for the shoulder mobility. And you'll see me as soon as I end this exercise, I'm gonna go into these Cuban rotations that I would want you guys to try out. Uh, they're a pretty cool movement to work that rotary cuff and uh, get those external rotation muscles to work. And since I adopted this plus the warm-up routine that I was uh, putting in these uh, videos so far, and also it's gonna link in the description below, I haven't had almost any shoulder pain, which is amazing, right? I'm so, so happy about that because I was really worried about my shoulder for a while because it was tight for months until I started really working it on a daily basis. And now I finally um, kind of feel like I got that um, pressure off of that area. And uh, here, yeah, I'm gonna do, uh, these are the Cuban rotations. So that's gonna be uh, something that I do at the end of the workout. They, they're amazing. And in this video, that's gonna be all for it. If you enjoyed the video, leave me a comment below. What are you gonna try out of these? What did you learn? And as always, click subscribe, support the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.